Remember this video of Israeli settlers destroying aid for Gaza? Well, they haven't stopped trying. But there's a group in Israel that's banded together to stop them. They're called Standing Together, and they're made up of Jewish Israelis and Palestinian citizens of Israel. Their tactic is to outnumber the far-right settlers who have been blocking and looting aid trucks in the occupied West Bank, where even children are among those ransacking and destroying food parcels. Under the piercing sun, shaded only by palm trees, the activists from all over Israel link arms to form a human chain to protect trucks near the Tarkumia crossing near Hebron. So far, their efforts have allowed about 40 trucks every day, carrying aid from Jordan to pass through and on towards Gaza. One activist from Standing Together, Nasser Odat, has felt helpless in the last few months, but this action has made him feel like he's having an impact. He told me, as a Palestinian in Israel, I finally felt like I could do something. Not just rally against the war, but something real. Another member of the group, Sally Abed, told me about the biggest challenge the group faces, that the Israeli police hardly ever intervene. In fact, she alleges police are collaborating with the settlers. The Guardian reported that individual Israeli security personnel are telling settler groups about the location of the aid trucks beforehand. One of the main groups attacking aid is called Zav-9. They declined my request for an interview, but the group's spokesperson told me why they're destroying the aid. They believe it's being diverted to Hamas and not civilians in Gaza, a claim both the aid groups and U.S. officials have rejected. Sapir Slezger Amran, an Israeli human rights lawyer, visited the crossing and witnessed firsthand the Israeli police's unwillingness to intervene. She was slapped and beaten by settlers as she tried to stop them from destroying the aid. Despite being assaulted, Israeli police instead told her, and not her attacker, to leave. Sally, from Standing Together, says many of the attackers are religious Zionists who envision the future of Israel as one entirely void of Palestinians. She told me, this group, they are the extreme of the extreme. Still, the activists are encouraged by the fact that some 700 volunteers from all over Israel are joining them in protecting the aid. Nasser says it's been a heartwarming experience to work alongside these Jewish activists because for a rare moment, he hasn't had to convince people that Palestinians are human.